Babe, how did you afford that? With my solitaire cash earnings. You play true classic solitaire and can win cash prizes. You get matched with players at the same skill level, so it's fair. It's free to play. Tap to download. Stop lying. You can't win money by playing solitaire. Yeah, you can. You solitaire cash. The only ads I see more than political ads for Donald Trump and Vice President Harris, they say that we can make real money simply playing solitaire. And in this video, I'm going to reveal exactly what solitaire cash is. I'm going to show you my results after playing this for one hour and some potential pitfalls that you might run into playing this game. If you've seen the many ads like I have and if you've wondered if you can really make money with this app, make sure you watch this entire video as I reveal everything that you need to know. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you want to be added to the globe, comment down below with your city, state, zip code, province, or country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so this video essentially is going to be comprised of three parts. Part number one is going to be an overview. Part number two are a few reasons why you might actually struggle to make money with this app. And part number three are my results. So let's go ahead and get into part number one, which is really simple. You'll simply go to the app store, whether you have an Android or an iOS device, you are going to search for Solitaire Cash and you download it to your phone. Once you have it to your phone, you're gonna simply start playing Solitaire. It doesn't really get any more difficult than that. And then according to their app and their website, when you play Solitaire, you're gonna make money. It really is as simple as that. And if you're new here, my belief is if it's real simple and real easy, usually it's not gonna pay that much. Now that we have that, let's jump into part number two and a few reasons why you might struggle to make real money. Now, first and foremost, you can win money, but in order to make money, you have to spend what's called entry fees. So for example, before you can make any money and withdraw, you have to gamble or invest a certain dollar amount. Every game has a certain dollar amount that you have to spend an entry fee before you can start playing the game. The second problem that I see with this is that you're actually going to be competing with other people for the total amount. On the left-hand side of the app, it'll say that you can make $10, for example. However, you don't get $10 when you win the game, you have to split that pot amongst all of the other people that entered into that contest at the same time. So essentially, you're gambling against other people, you're competing against other people in order to win part of the pot. One of the biggest red flags that I saw with this app is basically after every game that you play, they want you to spend your own money so that you can continue playing. I'll talk about that more in just a moment, but I noticed that it pops up literally every two or three games that you play. I also noticed that the difficulty increases the more money you invest. So there are games on there that you can play for 20 cents. Those are really easy and the payouts or cash out aren't, aren't that bad. But when you get up to the more expensive games, the dollar, two dollar games that are out there, the entry fees, those games are kind of hard. Uh, and they're designed that way so that you either quit or, or you don't make as much as you can. While you don't have to be great at solitaire, the easy ones are really designed to be easy so that you can get that confidence to keep playing. But I noticed that there is a huge step up in difficulty when you start playing the more expensive one. Also, when you reach the first or second level, they start introducing other things like gems and coins, which is a huge red flag for me. I noticed that whenever websites and apps, they start giving you things other than money, usually the payout isn't that great. They want you to spend time to collect gems that you might be able to convert into coins one day, but usually the conversion rate is pretty bad. You have to earn a thousand gems in order to make a dollar. Usually, I'm not saying that's the case with this, but in my experience, that's what I found. Whenever they start introducing weird things like gems, usually the payout is pretty challenging to get to. When you run out of gems, money, and troop bucks, or whatever else they throw at you, they want you to spend your own money. So they want to connect to your PayPal account, or enter in a credit card so that you can buy more money or spend more money to cover the entry fees, which again, I think is a huge red flag. And I'm not a big fan of playing games where I've got to spend money with the chance of making money back. That sounds a lot like gambling to me. And one big thing that I noticed is that the only way that you can make substantial money like $5 or more is when you invest big money up front on the entry fees. For example, if you wanted to make $5 for winning a game, oh by the way, it's split, you would need to invest like three or four dollars. So in reality, if you did the math, you invest three or four dollars and then you get a split of five dollars, 
that doesn't seem like you're really making any money. And one thing that I look for but I couldn't find is that they actually don't discuss the payout amount, which is again a huge red flag for me. I couldn't find anywhere what the minimum payout was and so it's hard for me to keep going and to trust the process when I don't know how much I need to invest or work in order to get some money or make some money back. With all of that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at how much I made uh, this morning. So I played for an hour yesterday, as I mentioned. I played probably about 15 or 20 games and I only made 0.5 or 50 cents. I have 510 gems and it looks like I have 20 shroot gems or shroot coins, whatever this is. It doesn't say exactly what it is. And one thing that I want you to see as I will show you the screenshot, in order to start playing some of these, you need to pay a $12, $13, or even a $6 entry fee. And as I mentioned, when you do these entry fees, the prize pool is $42. You're not getting the entire $42. You might be lucky if you make enough to cover your initial investment. Again, this sounds a lot like gambling. In my opinion, this is no different than going to a casino and putting $100 on on black and hoping for the best. What you should do with the time that you have is I think you should create content. Whether you show up on camera or you wanna do faceless, my preference is, is showing up on camera, but I think you should create content. I think you should identify a hobby, interest, passion, or what you do at work all day and simply create content to help other people solve a problem. There are thousands of problems that are out there and if you create content to help people solve a problem, you're gonna have a better opportunity to monetize. In fact, if you do this repeatedly on TikTok or YouTube, wherever you, you feel most comfortable, those videos that you create will be working for you 24 hours a day while you're doing other things. For example, I'm making this video at 8.03 a.m. on Saturday. I want you to comment right now what time it is where you are to show you that this video is working even while I'm not actively working on this video. And so the cool thing with creating video content, you can monetize it in a variety of ways. This video will be monetized by the YouTube Partner Program, so YouTube will pay me when people view this video. I also have the potential to make money with affiliate marketing, which is recommending other people's products and services. There are affiliate links included in the description of this video. I also will sell a digital product or two. I have a link to a digital product where I help people monetize their social media and YouTube channels. All of this is happening while I'm doing something else. Quite honestly, I'm probably taking a nap right now. And that's what I want for you too. I want you to create content that has the opportunity to pay you 24 hours a day, seven days a week while you're not actively doing it. The other issue that I have with this type of, of, of opportunity uh, with, with Solitaire Cash is that the only way that you have the potential to make any money is that you're actively working on the app. You're actively playing solitaire. And if that's the case, that's called active income. And the amount of money that you make is severely limited or constricted to when you're inside of the app playing the game. However, like I said with this video and the thousands of other videos that I have floating around the internet, they're actually doing the work for me. They're doing the heavy lifting while I'm doing something else like hanging out with my kids, taking a nap, watching football, or just eating. <laughs> so what I recommend that you do first and foremost is do not play this game. This game will not make you money. This game will suck your time. Time is our most valuable asset. And I don't want you wasting time on an app that promises to pay you real money. Okay. So now that you know that this will not work for you, I want you to watch this video next that will show you how to get started with an online business step by step.